There's always been um, this common misconception that I, I was, uh, you know, a, a Disney kid. And it's funny because I, I never really, except for like a guest star appearance on maybe the Hannah Montana show back when Miley was a tyke, I, I never really was on any Disney show. I never really was a part of the Disney community other than being signed by a label that was owned by Disney. Um, but still, again, there's this misconception that if if you're young and you have blonde hair and you sing, um, you know, you're, you're a Disney kid. Um, I don't necessarily think that's a negative thing. I, I think that, you know, there, if you look at the amount of stars that started at Disney, it's, it's crazy. It, the list goes on and on. Miley uh, you know, included. Um, Shia LaBeouf. There's so many, you know, actors and musicians that have come out of... I think that's the hardest part, though, is, is, um, is establishing yourself as a credible adult entertainer out of, you know, after, afterwards, um, because so often there's this sort of negative connotation in the sense that if you've been a Disney star or a child star that you're riding on something other than talent, maybe you're riding on being like the cute kid next door or the, you know, relatable, accessible young teenage girl, uh, you know, you kind of fit into a mold and surely you don't have any talent. Um, and I think that that, at least for me, has been sort of the, the hardest part is sort of bridging the gap and sort of uh, coming into my own as an adult and showing people, like, no, I'm here to stick around and, and this is what I do and I, I do it well. And, and, I, and you know, I'm, I'm going to be, I'm just, somehow I'm going to make sure that people realize that I, I am a grown man now. I'm 27 years old and this is what I do. And, um, you know, I think it's, it's a struggle and it's one of those things that it takes a lot of time for people to sort of change the perceptions. And I think it's just a perception thing, you know. Um, but uh, again, I, I wouldn't trade, you know, my choices or my career choices for anything. I, I have no regrets. I think everything that I've done, I've done for a reason. And uh, I'm very happy with the turnout thus far. See the real face of fame on The F Word featuring Jesse McCartney Tuesday at 8, 7 central on Music Choice Play or watch anytime. Go to Music Choice On Demand, The F Word.